the theme of our program this year is the overcomer. So, first of all, you may ask, who is an overcomer? Well, I'd like to answer that question for you. An overcomer is an individual who kept the faith and finished the race. Here you may ask, what kind of race? Well, it's not really, it's not really a race. Actually, it's like a marathon because it's the race of life. So, um, please, um, media, can I have um, John 16, verse 33 on the screen? English Standard Version, please. And he said, I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, for I have overcome the world. Yeah? Tribulations being talked about here, we can basically call them troubles, problems, and issues we as individuals go through in our various journeys of life. The Bible verse, this Bible verse simplifies the mystery of who an overcomer is to us as Christians by simply telling us that our Father in heaven has already overcome the world. So this means that basically, as Christians, we are already overcomers because our Almighty Father in heaven is already an overcomer. As an overcomer, even though God says he has overcome the world, we will still go through the same trials and tribulations. But no need to fear, because all this are tests from the Lord Almighty to know whether your faith in him is genuine and proper, to know whether you being a Christian is to glorify him or just to please the eyes of others. It says in Romans 8 verse 37, No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. This tells us that as overcomers we are, conquerors through Christ Jesus our creator, and an overwhelming victory would always be ours if we keep our faith in him. Um, in the book of Revelation, while Jesus was talking to the Laodiceans, he promised them that to him that overcome it, he will grant to sit with him in his throne in the kingdom of heaven. So, you can basically see that one who lives the right kind of life and identifies himself to the Lord as an overcomer would be rewarded, surely. So, this reward, this is one of the rewards one will be granted, will be given. So, we have all these physical rewards on earth, but those are all vanity. We're looking at what comes after. That's why there's the saying, don't do things for now. Think about the future. Because the future is what counts. If you lay a foundation today, then it will be able to last for to few um, for future coming like to the future. So I'd like to say that we as overcomers will be surely rewarded. But don't just look at the reward that's going to come after. You need to focus on the reason why you are an overcomer, and which is God, Jesus Christ. So, as an overcomer, you don't need to be afraid, I tell you this. Because the Lord says in the book of Isaiah 41 verse 10, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, and I will help you, and I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Imagine, you know, God will just uphold you with his righteous right hand. <laughs> Because you are an overcomer. Ah, that's something really big. Oh. For an almighty God, to you that is as small as an atom to him, to uphold you with his righteous right hand, that's really something big. So you don't need to be afraid of anything except the almighty father himself. Because Jesus is always there for you to lean on. 
And that's just the simple truth. He's a friend and helper in any time. Go to your time of need, your time of, okay, in a time where you feel like you have sorted everything, there's a balance, there's like equilibrium in every aspect of your life, but he's always still there for you to lean on. You see, in the kingdom of heaven, fear is not a currency that is being exchanged. It is not in dissolution at all. You cannot call yourself an overcomer and still be afraid. Fear is not a currency in the kingdom of heaven. You, as an overcomer, you are, you are a conqueror. And what do conquerors do? They conquer places. So conquerors don't, are not afraid. They go and go and carry out the tasks they want to carry because they have the confidence that they are going to execute it and they are going to win this place. This is a powerful statement as it talks to us as Christians, or shall I say overcomers, that fear is something that is very intolerable in the kingdom of heaven. We cannot, that's why, you see, most people, they, okay, the biggest lie the devil has ever made us to think is that he is greater than God. Because you see, most Christians today have more fear for the devil than for God himself. And which is a lie. Because the devil is just a creation of God Almighty. And since he's a creation of God Almighty, and God created us, so the scale is human being, devil, then God is way up here. So God is just looking down. So that is why the devil, he cannot go to God, he cannot go and fight with God and all that. But because we are on the same level with him, that is why he comes to us. Because he knows we are God's pride. And that is why he envies us. So because we are a connection to God, so he now tries to deviate us from God. As an overcomer, he is the only one that clothes. God is the only one that clothes, cares, shelters, heals you and protects you in your time of trials and tribulations. And understand, he's, sometimes it might not always be the devil that is causing all these trials and tribulations. You may, some, most people will be like, ah, my, my village people, this one, that one, all that and all that. But actually, it may be a test from the Lord. And you see, God is so caring to the point that even during those tests, he's still, he's still there for you. He still cares for you. He protects you. He knows what he's doing too. He creates this kind of barrier around you to identify you as his own. And if you're able to prove to him that you are faithful and loyal to him, then my friend, you have done justice to your work on earth. An overcomer, I also like to say, is an individual who is able to do exceedingly abundantly of all that is expected, asked, and thought of him. You see, as an overcomer, when a task is given to you, you should, like this task was given to me, <laughs> I, 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 took it, I took it as like, okay, this is my, um, oh, God has chosen me for this, for the program, so I have to take it up with authority. I have to face it, move in with confidence, no fear. Mm. So that is the same kind of mindset that we as overcomers should have. No fear. 100% Jesus. Mm. In the book of Ephesians 30, verse 20, the Bible says, Surely with all this, day, all this work that an overcomer does, he shall be rewarded and blessed for it. It is written in the scriptures that the Lord will bless, the Lord God will bless you in the land that he gives you. He will establish you as his holy people as he has promised us on oath. We all know what an oath is now. So it's like an agreement, but it's a sacred agreement. And he says that if you keep to the commands of his father above and walk in his ways, then all these rewards will be unto you. So you can see there are various rewards 
that we overcomers are going to enjoy. But as I said before, don't just be an overcomer because of the rewards that come after. Know your, know your stance. Know your purpose. Finally, you can simply say that an overcomer is one who sees what God sees, which is strange to the average unbeliever. And they believe what God sees into being. He or she believes faith over facts and circumcises circumstance with the word. So you see, being a Christian, or should I say an overcomer, is not easy. But always remember, you have a father up above in heaven who would always give you the shoulder to lean on, to overcome and surpass difficult situations and problems in your life. And you can overcome all the, ta- um, all the problems and challenges it throws at you with God. You, 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 you won't believe where you will be. You will not be able to understand. You'll be like, is this me? Me that was all the way down here. How did I rise to the top? And that's the thing. As an overcomer, you must fulfill destiny. You cannot be an overcomer on earth and just be roaming around, moving from one. You must know that is why God is there for you. To, he, he's there as a friend for you to talk to. So you can know your, your calling. You can know what is right from what is wrong. And you see, we as overcomers should be careful because as you get closer to God, that's when the temptations come. That's when the devil knows, ah, I'm losing this person. No, 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 I can't lose this person. But as Pastor Gideon said to us while he was preaching, the best way to chase away those temptations, just say the word, um, just say these words, away with you, Satan. Away with you, Satan. Once you are able, and he said that, once you start contemplating and start discussing like with the temptation that should I do this, should I do that, that's when you have lost the battle. So that's why the Bible says we should flee. Flee from every source of temptation. Then we need to be careful because today the enemy basically uses three, bas- three things which is written in the Bible to come at us Christians. First of all, we have the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, that's the second, then the pride of life. So we need to be careful about our thoughts, both on ourselves and other individuals. Then we need to be careful as overcomers not, not, to, not to carry this sense of... In, it's good to have good self-esteem, but don't be too proud. Because when that pride sets in, that's when you find it out. You believe that you are above every other person. Uh, which is not true, because we are all God's creation. We are seen as equal to God. So why are you to now start raising standards that this person is lower than me? That's, that's, that's just the funny thing about life. This person can be down here today, tomorrow he's up here. So there's no need to look down on anyone. There's no need to, how will I say, booga. Yeah. So we need to be able to discern from what is right and wrong. As overcomers that we are, we are the, the Lord says that the earth is his footstool. So he's in control. So the, that's why I said before, there's no need to fear. The Lord is in control. You don't need to be... Even when you know that you have somebody that is way up there, that is just looking at us like ants, that can control anything, you will not be afraid of something. It does not really make sense. Somebody has... God of all people, you know, as a Christian, you now say, I'm afraid. This job interview, this. You're meant to go there with a level of confidence that when the person that's interviewing you sees you, you be like, yeah, these are the kind of individuals we are looking for. So that's another key point. As an overcomer, you must show confidence. Confidence is key. It's very key. Then also as an overcomer, prayer is essential. You cannot be an overcomer without praying. You must pray, then have time for God. Study the word. When you have good understanding with the Lord, you find things easier 
how will I say, to do, and you find it easier to discern from what is right and what is wrong. Because when temptations come, you would already know the Bible passage to use to fight against it. Okay, like some time ago, I used to battle with a kind of addiction, but I now started getting into the Word, becoming more prayerful. Then, anytime temptation comes, I always use this one. For man shall not live by bread alone, but by the works of the Father, by the word of the Lord, the works of the Father. So, we should be able to discern. We should have a prayerful life. We should study the word. We should move in confidence. That's good self-esteem. Then don't let anyone talk down on you because you know your identity as a child of God and as an overcomer. See, as overcomers, there are so many names you can call an overcomer. You can call an overcomer a champion, a triumphant, an elite. So, I want that to impact you guys. So, anytime you're in any, time, see any situation of trouble, issue or problem, just remind yourself, I am an overcomer. I am triumphant. I am a champion. Nothing gets the best of me. I am better than the best. Yeah. Can everybody stand to their feet? Let us pray. Like fire, like rain, let your glory fall. Like fire, like rain, let it fall. Come on, I want you guys to enter into the spirit. Let the presence of God fill this place. We give all glory to you. May your name be glorified. Thank you for this program, for it has really impacted in our lives, both as teenagers and to the adults. We give you all the glory, give you all the honor and adoration. We thank you for all the vessels you have used to preach to us. May your name be highly exalted. We lift you up high. For you are the only one that sustains us. You are the only one that keeps us. You are our Father above. You are our everything. You are our Daddy. Thank you, Heavenly Father. May your name be highly exalted once more. For in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen.